What if the biggest sales breakthrough of your career wasn't a new script, but a single sentence you typed into ChatGPT? Imagine turning one prompt into 10 replies from dream clients. Sounds crazy, right? Well, I'll prove it to you today, because here's the truth. Most salespeople are using ChatGPT completely wrong. They're treating it like a glorified Google search instead of a secret weapon. And that's why their emails sound generic, their pitches fall flat, and their prospects tune out. But when you know how to talk to ChatGPT the right way, everything changes. You stop guessing and you stop wasting time. And suddenly, AI becomes the sales partner you always wish you had. Hey everyone, Jake Dawson here. So let's get straight into this because I know your time is valuable. I've spent the past two years testing hundreds of ChatGPT prompts with sales teams, breaking them down, tweaking them, figuring out why some crush it and others just flop. That's exactly what I'm about to show you. Quick side note, if you want to copy these prompts, I've added them to my school community with 50 other prompts for my other tutorials. So check that out in the link from the description below. All right, let's kick this off with the first one, the prospect intelligence gatherer. This one is like having your own personal research assistant who doesn't sleep. You drop in the company name and the industry and ChatGPT gives you a full briefing. And I'm talking about their latest news, what challenges they're facing, who the decision makers are, and even three conversation starters that you can use on a call. Imagine going into a meeting already knowing what's on their plate instead of asking the boring, so what do you guys do? That's the difference between sounding like a pro and sounding like every other salesperson that they've met this week. Now let's move on to the second one, the pain point detective. This one's a game changer because prospects don't care about your product. They care about their problems. With this prompt, you'll tell ChatGPT the industry, the job title, and the company type, and it spits out the top five challenges that role is struggling with right now. And not only that, it explains why the usual fixes don't work and what kind of stress this puts on that person. So picture being able to say, I know you're constantly fighting with outdated reporting tools that eat up your team's nights and weekends. That's way stronger than saying, we help you save time. And then we've got the third one, the competitive intelligence prompt. This one is perfect when you know your prospect is looking at you and a competitor side by side. So you plug in your company name and the competitor's name and ChatGPT gives you a side by side comparison of features, pricing, strengths, weaknesses, and who the ideal customer is for each. It's like reading the other team's playbook before the game starts. And here's the kicker. It even gives you three smart questions that you can figure out if your prospect is secretly considering the competitor. Now, here's where this gets really exciting. Because all of these prompts are about saving time and winning deals faster, let me show you a tool that takes that idea and cranks it to the next level. This tool is called Zams, the AI command center for B2B sales teams, and also the sponsor of this video. I just saved 20 hours this week without hiring a single person. And here's the thing, most entrepreneurs and small business owners aren't losing deals because they can't sell, they're losing them to busy work. You're manually updating your CRM, chasing leads through emails, creating reports by hand, and you're wondering why you're pulling 80 hour weeks just to keep the lights on. Zams fixes that. It connects to the tools you already use, Salesforce, HubSpot, Slack, Apollo, Gong, and a hundred other apps, and it turns them into one seamless system. This isn't just moving data from one place to another. It's true AI automation that thinks in context. So instead of clicking through tools, you just tell Zams what you want in plain English, and it handles the entire workflow, pulling meeting insights, updating your CRM, crafting personalized outreach, and tracking responses. No clicking through 12 tabs, no manual follow-ups, no hiring someone to babysit the process. One system, one interface, zero friction. And that time saved, it turns into more pipeline and more revenue. So if you want to take these prompts and supercharge them in the real world, check out Zams. The link's down in the description and pinned in the comments. All right, let's keep it rolling. Number four is the industry trend analyzer. And this is where ChatGPT basically acts like your personal market analyst. You type in your industry you care about, let's say healthcare, real estate, or, or software, and it gives you three big trends shaping that space right now. But it doesn't just stop at naming them, it breaks down why those trends matter, the challenges they create, and how they tie back to the solution you're selling. 
It even adds in stats and a timeline. So you can say things like, by the end of this year, 60% of companies in your industry will be dealing with this exact same issue. That's powerful because you're not just pitching, you're showing urgency. You're painting the picture that waiting isn't an option and it makes prospects pay attention. Next up, number five, the referral request generator. Honestly, this one's like having a smooth talking friend who always knows the right words. You pop in your industry and ChatGPT drafts three different ways to ask for referrals from happy customers. One version is polished and professional, one's more relaxed and friendly, and the last one has a little bit more of urgency. The beauty here is that it makes saying yes effortless. Instead of you awkwardly asking, uh, do you know anyone else who might need this? You've got a message that feels natural, confident, and easy to forward. Referrals are gold in sales, but most people just don't ask. With this, you don't have to overthink it. You just send and watch the intros come in. And now we move into one of my favorite email and outreach prompts. Let's start with number six, the personalized cold email creator. This is where things get really fun. You plug in your prospect's name, their company, and any research you've done like news articles, LinkedIn details, or even stuff that you pulled from the prospect's intelligence gatherer. You tell ChatGPT to write a three email sequence. And here's the key. Each email references something specific from the company. It hits on pain points that actually matter to them, and it offers a little value before you even ask for a meeting. The call to action is soft, not pushy, which is always way more effective. And here's a stat that'll make you sit up. Woodpecker found that highly personalized cold emails can boost reply rates by up to 142%, and that's compared to generic templates. And that means if you're blasting out the same copy-paste email to everyone, you're leaving money on the table. With this prompt, every prospect feels like you wrote it just for them. And the tone, it's conversational and confident. Think less robotic pitch and more, hey, I actually know your business and here's something that could help. That little shift makes all the difference in whether they hit delete or hit reply. All right, let's keep it moving. The next one is the follow-up sequence builder. This one is all about persistence done the right way. You know how most salespeople send one email, don't hear back, and then just vanish? That's like asking someone out once, getting ignored, and never trying again. Follow-up is where the real deal happens. With this prompt, ChatGPT builds a five-touch sequence for you, each hitting from a different angle. The first one is all about value. The second leans on social proof. The third creates urgency. The fourth taps into curiosity. And the last one is the final attempt to bring them back and it spaces them three to five business days apart so you don't come across as desperate. You can literally paste this into your CRM and have an entire follow-up strategy ready in minutes. Now, number eight, the objection prevention email. This one is sneaky smart. Instead of waiting for a prospect to say, it's too expensive, or we're not ready, or we're looking at your competitor, you get ahead of it. You tell ChatGPT to write an email that addresses those three objections before they ever come up. And the way it works is by sharing insights and stories from other companies that face the same concerns. So instead of you sounding defensive, you're educating. For example, one of our clients felt the timing wasn't right, but once they started, they saw immediate gains in efficiency. It's way less pushy and it actually builds trust. That's the kind of email that makes a prospect think, okay, they get it, they've seen this before and they've helped people before like me. And then there's number nine, the re-engagement campaign. We've all had those prospects who just go cold. You sent emails, maybe even had a call, and then silence. This prompt creates a three email backup sequence that can actually bring them back. The first email reminds them of the value. The second one takes a different approach so you're not just repeating yourself. And the last one is that classic final goodbye message. Funny enough, that last email is often the one that gets people to reply because no one wants to feel like they're losing out on something. The key here is that it's not too pushy. It's written to feel personal and exclusive. Like, hey, I don't wanna bug you, but here's the last chance. And a lot of times, that's all it takes to reopen the conversation. All right, number 10 is the LinkedIn connection message. This one's perfect if you're tired of sending those boring, I'd like to add you to my network requests. With this prompt, ChatGPT writes five different messages tailored to your audience and each under 200 characters so they don't feel like essays. The cool part is that you can ask it to pull in something from their profile like a recent post, their job title, or even a shared interest, so it feels personal. Then it adds a bit of curiosity without being salesy. And that way, when they see your request, it feels genuine. 
not like the setup to a pitch. Plus, it also gives you follow-up message ideas once they have accepted. So you're not sitting there staring at your screen thinking, uh, now what do I say? You can go from stranger to real conversation in just a couple of messages. And that's the whole point of LinkedIn networking. Now, let's shift gears into sales conversation and closing. Number 11 is the discovery question generator. If you've ever been on a call and realized halfway through that you don't actually know enough about the prospect's problems, this one's for you. you give ChatGPT the, the product you sell and the audience you're selling it to, and it gives you 15 discovery questions broken down into categories, situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. It even gives you follow-up probes so you don't just stop at the surface level answers. Number 12 is the objection handling script. And honestly, this one's a lifesaver. The classic, it's too expensive objection has killed more deals than bad Wi-Fi on Zoom calls. With this prompt, ChatGPT role plays five different ways to respond. One way is reframing the value. Another is breaking down the cost. Another compares you to the alternatives. Another calculates ROI. And the last one uses a risk reversal approach. The best part is that each response starts by acknowledging their concern so you don't come off as dismissive. And then it pivots back to the value. So instead of sounding like you're arguing, you're showing them why the price makes sense. It's kind of like having a cheat sheet in your back pocket, except you don't have to panic scroll through your notes while your prospect is waiting for an answer. Now, number 13 is the value proposition translator. And this one is pure gold. If you've ever had a prospect's eyes glaze over when you start talking about features, you know what I mean. The stuff that makes sense to you, but it sounds like tech jargon to them. With this prompt, you paste in your list of features and tell ChatGPT who your buying persona is. And it runs through each feature three times. And the result is before and after scenarios that actually matter to the buyer. So instead of saying, our software has automated reporting, you're saying before your team spent late nights putting together spreadsheets. After, the reports are generated automatically and your weekends are yours again. It flips the conversation from geek speak to real world impact. And that's what prospects care about. The next one is the closing technique customizer. And this one's a lifesaver when you're at the end of a conversation and not sure how to land the plane. You paste in your sales notes and ChatGPT picks the three most effective closing techniques based on what the prospect said and how they communicated. It doesn't just tell you which ones, it gives you actual scripts for each. For example, if the prospect was analytical, it might suggest a numbers-driven close with ROI breakdowns. If they were emotional, it might give you a story-driven close that connects to their goals. It's like having a sales coach whispering in your ear saying, hey, here's exactly how to seal the deal with this person. And then there's number 15, the proposal outline generator. Proposals are one of those things everyone dreads because they take forever to write and they often come out looking like a boring wall of text. This prompt fixes that. You tell ChatGPT the prospect's company, the challenges that they're facing, and it builds out a full structure for you, an executive summary, the problem definition, the solution overview, timeline, investment details, ROI projections, and even risk mitigation. And it's formatted in a way that that's easy to scan, which is key because no one's reading a 20 page essay, let's be honest. They want the highlights and the numbers that matter. With this, you're giving them exactly what they want and what they need to say yes, without spending your whole weekend formatting slides and documents. All right, let's wrap this up with the last section, sales coaching and improvement prompts. Number 16 is the call analysis coach. This one is like having a sales trainer listening on every call without actually being there. You paste in your transcript and ChatGPT gives you feedback on your opening, your discovery questions, how clear your presentation was, how you handled objections, and even how you tried to close. It rates each area on a scale from one to 10, and then it gives you specific tips on what to fix. So instead of just feeling like that call could have gone better, you actually know why and what to do about it next time. Think of it as your instant post-game review without having to sit through a cringeworthy replay. Number 17 is the Performance Benchmark Creator. This one helps you look at your sales role like an athlete looking at their stats. You tell ChatGPT the role like SDR, AE, whatever, and it builds out a performance evaluation framework with KPIs, behaviors, and skill checks. So instead of hearing just make more calls, you're getting something like, you need to improve your discovery questions, and here's how. 
It takes the guesswork out of personal improvement and it makes it feel more like following a training plan than just grinding every day hoping to get better. Number 18, the role play scenario builder. This is for training yourself or your team members without having to come up with fake situations on the spot. You tell ChatGPT your product and it gives you five role play setups with different levels of difficulty. Each one has a backstory, the company situation, objections you'll face, budget issues, and how decisions get made. It basically turns practice into a game. One scenario might be an easy layup, another might be a tough one where the prospect keeps throwing curveballs. It's way better than sitting around saying, uh, pretend you're a tough prospect. Number 19 is the sales story crafter. This is where you take one customer's success story and spin it into different formats for different situations. You paste in the story and ChatGPT will create a 30 second elevator pitch version, a two minute version for a discovery call and a longer case study for a proposal. For each one, it highlights different benefits so you're always armed with the right story at the right time. That way you're not rambling for 10 minutes when someone only wants a quick example. And you're not being too vague when someone actually needs detail. And finally, Number 20, the territory planning assistant. This is the one that helps you stop chasing random leads and starts working on a strategy. You give ChatGPT your territory info and it builds a plan that ranks accounts by value, how likely they are to close and how important they are strategically. It even gives you outreach strategies and a timeline for your top 20 accounts. That means no more wasting times wondering who to call next. You've got a clear path laid out. These last five prompts are all about leveling up your game long term. They help you review, measure, train, tell better stories, and plan smarter. If the earlier prompts are about winning deals, these prompts are about becoming the kind of salesperson who wins consistently. And once you put them into play, you'll notice you're not just getting better results, you're becoming more confident because you actually know what you're doing and why it works. But here's the thing. None of that matters if you fall into the same trap most people do with ChatGPT. The top three mistakes I see with salespeople using AI are pretty simple, but they'll wreck your results if you don't catch them. The first one is using generic prompts with no context. If you just type, write me a sales email, ChatGPT is going to give you something bland enough to put a prospect to sleep. The second big mistake is taking the first response and just running with it. That's like sending the very first draft of an essay without editing. The magic with ChatGPT happens when you ask it to make it shorter, more casual, add a story, or reframe the value. And the third mistake is forgetting the human side of sales. ChatGPT can help you prep, write, brainstorm, but it's never going to replace trust, empathy, or active listening. If you sound robotic, someone will pick up on it instantly. The real win is blending AI's efficiency with your own personality and relationship skills. That's when prospects lean in instead of tuning out. Now, I want to hear from you. Out of these 20 prompts, which one are you the most excited to try first? Drop a comment and let me know your biggest sales challenge too. A lot of the time, your questions turn into my next videos. So don't be shy about sharing what you're struggling with. And hey, if this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button because I test new prompts every week and I only share the ones that actually work in the real world. No fluff, no theory, just stuff you can plug into your workflow today and see results. And if you want to take this a step further, I've got all these prompts, plus a ton of extra templates inside my school community, where we go deeper every week and I help you put this stuff into action. So check it out in the descriptions below. I also pasted the link to zams.com we talked about earlier. And remember, the best time to start using AI in sales was yesterday. The second best time is right now. So grab the prompt from this video, try it today, and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to take this even further and dive into AI powered productivity. Just click on the video to my left and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. See you there. Still waiting.